awesome. Look what I just found. That's right. I'm here by the Ritz and this is a perfect time to introduce my next show which uh, of the Walking Man project which is uh, episode 40 Galetta uh, part one and what do I do over there over there I've just reached uh, Galetta and uh, I end up by Sandpiper golf course amazingly beautiful golf course and right next to it is the Ritz I thought this was one of the only Ritz out there but I was completely wrong there's apparently another one over there and probably a lot more around the world um, but for now, uh, you know, check out this episode. It's a good episode. I mean, uh, it was fun to like make my way down um, further to Galetta where I found shops. Uh, and at these shops, like my socks had like completely worn out. So I had to get new socks, managed to get that over there. And then I was trying to get my hard drive uh, fixed. So I went to a few other places. And um, yeah, the Brit, see? Yeah, but for now, um, check out this episode and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, peace, one love and God bless you all. I'm going to make my way. Okay. No, no. Love road on this road. I've seen like squirrels, I've seen raccoons, I've seen skunks. Some deer, I've seen man, you might as well put a bear over there right now. You know, in the, I've seen pretty much all, and then so many wasps are just like lying dead all over the way. But this is the craziest, I actually get to see a snake. There you go. Or is that just the skin of a snake? I don't know. That could be a snake. Yeah, uh, it didn't make it. All right, God rest. Uh, all right. And uh, time to keep moving. I'm there. This is it. You take a right, and the shops are right there. And then I found out this In and Out Burger just in this town, like Santa Barbara, uh, by the airport, Santa Barbara Airport. There's In and Out Burger over here. So I am actually going to go easy on lunch and have In and Out. In and Out is one of my favorite, favorite things in the U.S. Like you know, it's like one of the best burgers you can actually have, and they've got this crazy sauce and make it like animal style and it's fresh I'll show you more when I get to the In-N-Out Burger uh, but for now uh, continue the walk and let's keep going alright guys it's a bit oh, it's so hot you see the sweat drop dribbling off my uh, dripping dribbling off my face but I have found and I have arrived at Goleta I think that's how it's pronounced or Goleta Goleta Golta. Anyway, population 28,400, elevation 20, and there's a shop just down there. I'm super happy, and uh, woo, what a journey! I just had like a little bit of war left, and uh, pretty much out of everything else. Um, I could do with some food, and that In and Out Burger. Let's go now. That's what I'm talking about. Look at these guys, got the right idea, they're out on the green playing some golf social distancing as well with the golf carts that's what you do waiting to tee up i so miss playing golf i could so easily hit around a golf here oh my god easily hit around a golf and it's so awesome playing golf in the us or uk or it's just my sport one of my top sports right now and look what i found there's a ritz over there in london by green park and there's the Ritz Cole in the hair in Baccarat Santa Barbara and Sandpiper. I think that was a beer, but this is the way we're going. That way. And uh, like I said, what a golf course. Look, it's by the Pacific, if you can see. And to be honest, it's like such a beautiful view. And I'm sure the beach is awesome as well. Come on, the Ritz, right? It's one of the top hotels in the world. And, uh, and if I can ever afford it, maybe I'll come over here someday. And, uh, you know, maybe if they uh, allow me in there. And uh, ooh, a little chill out spot. That works for me too. Okay, well, I guess it's time to get going. And, uh, ooh, wow, beautiful here, man. 
Another one of those oil rigs. Alright, this guy's teeing up. Let's see how good he is. Let's see the form. Okay. Form was not the best there, was it? Okay. Let's get moving. Ooh, look at this little historic building. This is a oil company. All right, on my way, uh, going down actually, uh, going down towards a shop I need to go to actually, because uh, I bought a hard drive and I wanted to back up my, uh, you know, all my content and stuff like that. So there's this hard drive I have um, in my pocket. If you can see it, boom, boom, boom. This thing, it's in the case. And then this hard drive's like got, you know, space for all this stuff I've been recording uh, for the walking man. So uh, I really want to get it fixed so that I can at least have a backup. So just in case anything happens to, you know, like my phone or my laptop or any device that I have my backups on, at least I have my content. I always look good to backup. And uh, for now, this, is the way Whew. okay one of the first tech companies I've seen here in Hollister Santa Barbara Colita and what a beautiful place I mean everything's so clean and look at the roads how well they're done everything you know nice clean place Whew. very very clean impressed with this city did a good job all right so this is the first shop a 7-eleven that I have found for a long long time all the way here entering Santa Barbara been going for miles and miles with my crazy journey lack of water lack of food lack of everything and now we have 7-eleven look at that that just looks heavenly right now too. And then I've got a 7-Eleven bag. So uh, I doubled up with a Walmart bag. Um, so maybe uh, in the future, 7-Eleven might want to be a, might want to be a sponsor, who knows? Anyway, let me go in there, get some drinks and uh, maybe a little bite to eat. Made it to Best Buy. Uh, so basically uh, Best Buy is a electronic store and like i said i bought this hard drive um which i can't get working so i'm just gonna go over there and see if they allow me to like plug into another computer and reformat it maybe or i don't know where and like just see if they can fix it and uh if not then uh i will be uh unimpressed the geeks cool. all right let's see how good the geeks are over here okay geeks actually like a cool word nowadays like, you know, I, when I was younger, like, people used to use it in a derogatory way. Um, but eventually, over time, it's become more acceptable. And, like, like the N-word, N-word, bad, bad. Even, like, you know, black people using it with, when they meet black people. And, I mean, it confuses me. How can you can do that and then the other people can't do that? So, I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's like, still, I know there's a lot of history behind that. And... You know, for the black community, like certain community sections, they think it's a greeting, you know, what's up man, and all that stuff. But anyway, I, I try not to use too many bad words. My uh, dad doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to cut down, man. I was pretty bad before that. Anyway, uh, so Best Buy, this is where I'm going. And let's see if I can get my shit fixed. Okay, I'm inside. This is Best Buy. So we're here. And uh, I have my thing, the WD uh, 5 terabyte. Oh, let me show you it. I've been just messing around with you guys, man. You ain't seen the thing. This is the backup drive. It backs everything up. Things get safe. Dun, dun, dun. See that? Anyway, this is what I'm going to get fixed. So let's see if uh, somebody here can help me with this. Um, Okay, the Geek Squad looks pretty busy. Pretty happening store. If you really want to get tech, Best Buy is one of the best places. I actually like Best Buy a hell of a lot. And uh, this is one of my favorite stores. 
And I bought a lot of stuff from them. But right now, I just want to see if they can help me with it. I said to Best Buy, hey, you know, my hard drive needs fixing. I met mean, actually a really cool dude there. He's a musician as well, plays the trombone. Justin, um, really cool guy over there, works for the Geek Squad. Um, tried it on the Apple, didn't show up. And he tried it on, uh, was trying it on Windows, which took forever to do updates. And he went to the back and tried it on Windows. And it still didn't pick up. Forget all of that, my hard drive don't work. And I paid that good money to have a backup device and I don't have it. So now I have to somehow return my uh, hard drive, get them to send a new hard drive to wherever I'm going to be. And then hopefully be able to back up. Uh, so for now, I'm going to keep my phone pretty damn safe. Anyone tries anything, it's going to definitely be going on. Alright, um, so in and out Burger, that's what I'm going to do. But before that, I might stop somewhere for a little top up. You know what I mean? Alright, let's get going. This is the first Tesla charging point I've seen in California. Ross, there's actually a Ross and a Costco and a Tilly's. And I'm going to see if I can get some socks. My socks have really taken a tumble. And then I didn't get the opportunity to buy some socks at the last place I was at. So now I'm going to make my way to the next place where I can get some. And Ross usually has good clothes for less price. There we go. Uh, now I'm here looking at socks. Here are these socks. Boom! <laughs> okay, that didn't take long. I managed to find them pretty damn quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> the reason I found them so quick, like first I was looking, I was looking, I was like, oh, what should I get? What should I get? Should I get this? Should I get that? Oh, the Adidas, that's one of my favorite, favorite brands. Thinking about the Adidas's. And then, boom, I looked at the Nike section and I was like, all right, these look comfortable. All right, they look comfortable, but how much are they? Check it out. $1.99 for a pair of socks. I got two pairs. <laughs> two pairs. <laughs> this is definitely needed. Right, now let me see what I look like. This is what the uh damn. Look alright, huh? But uh, anyway, enough of the posing. <laughs> so happy. Alright, let's go. Alright, got my socks. And I'm about to change them. And you're going to see what my socks look like. These are one of the best socks I'm actually, I actually have and own. You know, the sun's in my thing. Oh, super hot. But from now, this is what it all looks like. Zip and two. Take off the shoe. Now I had to do this with the sock. Can you believe it? This is what I had to do. And then unzip. You know, I think there's a little design. You only need one zip. You don't need two. Because one of them actually broke. It was pretty bad. But you see... Can you see it? You look, look, already see the holes. And then there's holes. And then this one's got... Holes and holes. Anyway, these socks are going. These are my beautiful feet. Oh, they've been through so much. Anyway, for now... Oh, blisters are looking okay, I guess. This side. All right. But this back blister is a killer, man. You see all of that? Probably need to get some more plasters for that stuff. But generally, feet are looking better than before. I know they've been through a lot. And uh, ooh, sock sign. Okay, sock sign. Here you go. Fresh, fresh, fresh socks. And uh, actually I'll show you the sole if you like. I'll put it in after. This is it. Dr. Show's left and right. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this back in and then <laughs> I'm gonna rock and roll. All right, time to go.